Hello, Tony from BudgetGuitarist.com. And today, I try to make an interesting video from a bunch of crappy footage that Ricky took. I'm with the show. So what are we doing? So far, boring us. Today, we're gonna take a trip to Tampa to go to Guitar Center. And uh, here's my filthy steering wheel and my dirty car. Oh car, I've neglected you. I really need to clean you. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. It's my garage, there's my recycling bin, and uh, yeah, we're gonna head out to Guitar Center. Oh, this is fun. Wow, a red light. Mm, boy. I'm in the wrong lane, man. I gotta get myself over. Don't change lanes under the traffic light. It's illegal. Here we go. So we're gonna get on the Sun Coast. Head down to Tampa, sunny Tampa. It's about 85, no, it's about 88 degrees out. It's like late October. And let's go. Oh yeah. And I got the budget Mustang, baby. Driving down the Veterans, heading south on my way to Tampa, to Hillsborough Avenue. This is a bumpy road. This is a bumpy video. Why does it sound like wind when we're inside the car? Jeez, should I be telling jokes right now? This whole video's a joke, and it ain't even funny. is not the exit. I got itch ah, my nose. What the hell? It's like being on a bad carnival ride. You know what this reminds me of? The last three minutes of footage. All right, I'm gonna put the phone down because I gotta drive with both hands for a second. Ah, this is not a few anyone needs to see. I'm gonna leave this in. <laughs> Sounds like Ricky needs both hands to change lanes. Looky here. We can't see anything, Ricky. No. If I did this all the time, I think I'd get me one of those uh, GoPro, one of those things, you know. No one wants to see any more at this. Uh, those are supposed to be good for shit like this. I mean, stuff like this. Don't say naughty words, Ricky. Then I gotta edit them out. Jeez. Two miles. That's for me. That's where I want to go. Guitar Center is on Hillsboro. It is 60 miles per hour, and you will note I am doing 60 miles per hour. There's somebody driving very unsafe. Why don't you make a citizen's arrest, Ricky? That'd be fun to watch. More fun than this. Anybody else feel like they've seen this picture before? Unless Iron Man is about to land on the hood, I don't see the point in this footage. Keep safe distance. Stay safe. The only danger is that we might be bored to death. The thing about going to Guitar Center or Sam Ash or any other big music store is I like to go in and just see the stuff. You know? I like to just see it. I like to be around it. I like to hear the amplifiers. Not to the point where I would want to get a job at a guitar center. Although, part-time on the weekend? Eh, I don't know. Who am I kidding? I couldn't afford to do it. That's just great. Why don't you offend every viewer out there that works in a music store? Bear 
Apparently, we don't need subscribers. Hillsboro Avenue, exit four. Here we go. Oh, look, I just got a text message from my wife. I hope it doesn't screw up my video. Why don't you read it out loud? It can't be worse than this. We're back to the bumpy cam. I wonder how dirty my dashboard is. I guess I'll find out when I, when I play this footage back. Am I gonna make the light? Am I gonna make it? I'm gonna make it. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Like it's a big deal. I'm doing 47 in a 45 and the sign's like, slow down, oh my God, slow down, slow down. Off in the distance there, you can see Raymond James Stadium. That's where the Tampa Bay Bucks play. Tampa International Airport, which I will say is a damn fine airport. I've been in a lot of airports in my life and uh, Tampa is one of the better ones. I dig it, I really do. And some good restaurants in there too. I wonder if there's software in Final Cut Pro that can like debunk the bumps in this. It take a supercomputer, Ricky. I'm sure this footage is shaky as hell. I'm still holding out hope for Iron Man. We're getting closer. I wonder if I can actually use this footage in a video. I bet Tony could do something good with it. Nope. Yeah. When I'm done with this, I'll just hand it to Tony and I'll say, here, Tony, you do something great with this. So here's the plaza. Now, before we go in Guitar Center, we're gonna grab some, some takeout lunch. And I am gonna show you where. There's a cool Chinese fast food restaurant here. Just a little place. China House, it's called. The food here is really good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get an order to go and then I'm gonna eat it in the car. I'm gonna stop filming now. Okay, so here's the inside of the China House. And you can see it's a small place and they've got the chairs up to discourage customers from sitting. It's like the vacation slideshow from hell. Here's another angle of it. They are super, super safe. And they only talk to you from behind plexiglass and they wear gloves. So I'm really pleased with how China House has handled the pandemic. And totally cool to eat the food here. And the food, I think, is very, very good. All right, mission accomplished. Let me take this mask off and get rid of that. Okay, so what do we get for 850? We got the got the egg roll, we got a can of coke. And I swear this is like four pounds worth of food. Open it up, and this thing is cram packed. Now is that a deal or is that a deal? It's a great deal better than this. It's more video. fun to eat inside, but of course during COVID that's not gonna happen. So I'm gonna have to eat this out here in my car. And because it's like 89 degrees outside, right? Because it's 89 degrees outside, uh, yeah, the car actually has to be running. I'm gonna pause the video while I eat and then we'll check out the fortune cookie. That'll be exciting. It's gonna read, Confucius say, don't make crappy videos. Oh God. So let me set this down again. It looks like an alien planet on Star Trek. Gap dead. There's nothing down here but bad footage. Beam me up quick. Oh God, my car is so dirty. It's embarrassing. Let me put it on YouTube. It's embarrassing. Let me put it out there for the world. It says, be tactful. Do not overlook your own opportunity. You should take this opportunity to learn how to shoot video. That's where we're going. So Guitar Center Sam Ash are not crazy about you shooting video in there. This here is a Marshall Origin head. You can find the Origin stuff used any day of the week. Here's a good deal. This is a Bass Breaker 15 tube head for 414. That's a good deal in my opinion. Excellent amp. Here's another great deal. A Mustang One used 20 watt amp for 82 bucks. It's going to beat anything on the market for under $100 that's new. Here's a good shot of the store. You can see all the guitars on the left. I do like this Guitar Center. It's probably my favorite Guitar Center. The employees are really cool. You can see a bunch of amps, like an amp pyramid. Um, they've got a great selection of used stuff here, as well as, of course, the new stuff. Check this out. Used Yamaha DX7 599. 
so cool. All right, let's look at my big Guitar Center score. I got some Martin mandolins. These are standard tens. It says serious punch and a clear, strong tone. So we'll see about that. Strings for my mandolin. And then I got some more picks because you can never have too many. This is one mil. Dunlop Max Grip, these are great. They got the like the little dots on them so that the pick doesn't go flying out of your hand. That's pretty awesome. Let's go over to Sam Ash and see what, what's going on over there. All right, brief pit stop, Circle K, uh, because I, uh, because I'm clumsy and because I need me some caffeine. So it's 2020, so I wouldn't say I'm gonna drink this. I say, uh, I'm gonna smash a double shot energy from Starbucks, man. Everything is like smash these days. Yeah, I'm gonna smash this, man. It's like, no, no, I'm, I'm gonna drink it. My big day out on the town here, going to Guitar Center and Sam Ash, you know, I, I need to, especially after that Chinese lunch, you know, I need some more caffeine. So I'm going to drink this and, and then we'll resume. Okay, so another brief pit stop over here at Lowe's in Tampa. I have got three lights in my uh, on my lighting pole. And right now they each have like five foot cables. And if the light stand is nine feet tall, then the, the power cables, they don't even reach the ground. So I need to get some, some black extension cords in here, I think, and see how I do. Okay, here's my big Lowe's purchase. So it's like $12 or something. And uh, I have three lights and this has three outlets. So it's like a three to one adapter. So I plug my lights into this and then I plug a really thick extension cord into this and then I'm all set for my lights. Let's go to Sam Ash, shall we? Okay, here we are. See, Sam Ash. I'm living my best life. Here. Here's a good deal on a used Black Star amp. These are good amps. I like Black Star. See what else we got. Jazz chorus used for 700. This is interesting. I played that 1099 PRS and the frets were shot. They were so flat on it. That's going to need like uh, some level crown work. Great guitar, but man, somebody played that thing to death. Still not a bad deal though, if you think about it. And here's Wild Guitars at Sam Ash. This is a good Sam Ash. It's not my favorite Sam Ash. My favorite Sam Ash is in Clearwater, but this one's good too. Here's a used set of EV speakers, 419 for the pair. I should have looked to see if they're powered or not. I mean, even if they're unpowered, it's still a pretty good deal. Here we've got some synths with lots of dials. I do like all the dials and knobs and stuff. So much fun to play with that stuff. All right, well... That was interesting. I took some pictures in there and uh, now it's time to go home. So I'm not gonna film the drive home, but uh, there you go, some footage. Wonder what Tony can do with this. We're gonna find out. Well, I did my best. Next week, we'll be back doing a normal, regular video. Thanks for watching this fiasco. And as always, we will see you next Friday at five. <laughs>